y'all, you don't want to believe it, that'll be on you. But it is true, nice guys finish last. And it is true that if you want to be a nice person, a good person, a great person, you definitely can do that. There's so many great men out there. There's so many great guys out there. I see the comments. I've talked to a lot of you guys during consultations. And y'all have great intentions. However, the woman that you're choosing doesn't, all right? So that is a reality check. How do you guys feel about that? Does that frustrate you? Do you not even care? Is it allowing you to bring more focus onto yourself, right? And I'm just gonna say it now. If you wanna get on the line and actually talk about your exact situation, we can do that. Break it down, all that stuff. But let me not get onto that right now. Just kind of reminding you since I'm asking you these questions because I want you to understand that you don't have to change who you are as a man. A woman will recognize and notice how great of a man even more when you're not there to try to set up show things the way that she needs it to be so let me say if you let me say if you have great intentions let me say if you're the type of guy that is there because you want commitment you want love you want to be loved right and yet you can't find it with this woman or in general it's challenging out here for men right so what you have to then do is say that i'm not going to come out of character for one I'm not going to change my ways, secondly. And most importantly, I'm here to have growth happening. Acceptance, yes, you could do that. Now, another thing is a reality check. This I will definitely break down in another video, but it's very important for me to mention it right now that a reality check for a lot of you fellows has to be, first of all, who are you being nice to? Because if somebody shows you, especially a woman, shows you, why are you being so nice to me? She's not going to say that to you, right? She's not going to be like, oh, don't be nice to me. You're being too nice to me. She's most likely not going to tell you. And she's not going to ask you like, hey, like, why are you such a great guy? And if she does actually say that to you, but yet doesn't want you, which is really the topic of this video, and she's explaining to you that you're a nice guy, but you're not my type of guy. Another thing that you have to ignoring or if there's other stuff that you have going on it could be about anything self-improvement back to dating consultations are available for that book your consultation let's get on the line and talk about what's going on with you click that link after this video sleep affirmations so you could become that powerful man and it is recorded in my voice and i give you the strongest affirmations to overall become that man and subconsciously become powerful so let's get into these books get a track woman you want and get her to miss you along with secrets to winning her over and it tells you about cold approaching it tells you my personal story and if you're trying to up your game in the dating game these books are going to be perfect for that and you could get it all in a bundle deal make sure you click the link down below understand is that the type of guy that she wants is going to fall into most times physical aspect of him and also the way his mannerism is and the idea of like how is he like because normally when you think of like the rude boys i know we still talk kind of about like being the rude guy being the a-hole being the jerk like those sorts of stuff help but here's the thing about that it's more about how you are like if your mannerism shows that you have like you know that aggressive tone that could help if you also have like uh, uh energy about you that's giving masculine and yet you don't like step down to her you're not submitting those sorts of stuff that could help your aura those sorts of stuff will help you so the point is is that your physical as i said is going to play a large part if she has a specific tolerance of like hey, it gotta be like this, but I will tolerate only this, you have to make it up in other areas. That's a fact. Now, there's a lot of things that I'm mentioning that I know for a fact that I will extend on in a different video because things like replacing in different areas, because that's a whole nother topic of like, if you don't have this lack in this area, you better smart up, better up in your, let's say, talking skills, communication, um, knowing how to speak properly right that sorts of stuff can just simply help you having a beautiful smile right you want to have that compared to somebody that doesn't have a nice smile obviously because she's going to notice that that guy can maybe be taller than you and get away with that not so good looking smile but you can do it that could help you you want to just think about how are you worrying about yourself so much to check off like i'm not focused on that I need to be a rude guy. I just have to understand how to be with women, right? You have to remember, listen, when it comes to women, you're not there to prove a point to them. You're there to prove you are so sure of yourself. That's why when I said in the beginning, nice guys do finish last, it's only really coming down to certain aspects and then how you really carry out through life. So I'm saying like, even if you had a boss that disrespected you, what are you gonna do? 
keep taking the disrespect if a boss told you or even a friend told you go get me this go do this and that is not your requirement you don't have to do that you don't owe that or you don't get paid to do that why in the heck are you going to keep doing these favors especially if it's something that you don't want to do especially when they don't show that to you like they don't show oh the appreciation or yeah like you should keep giving this to me because I'm saying people can take advantage of you and yet you're thinking that they are appreciating you just because they said thank you. A woman can take like your whole wallet. And if you go ahead and say, oh, okay, that's cool. You know, I'm not worried about that. And she says, thank you. Are you feeling appreciated? I mean, like if you're going to go broke off of it, no, you won't. My point is though, because some of y'all will still say, well, you know, I like to provide or I don't I don't mind. Some of y'all will say that. Some of y'all will be like, well, I'll provide in other areas. Anyways, the point is, is that you should still know when to say no. You should still know that this is not okay. And definitely, if you still have not checked out the power of saying no video, make sure you do so. I feel like that's going to help you so much because it's powerful in itself. And, you know, if you guys haven't checked it out, I'll just give you a little heads up now. It's actually i can't tell you but it's not in my title but i'll just tell y'all since you're already here but it's the number one word the number one word thing to say it's already uploaded but the reason why i'm also saying this is because i'm telling you the word already so maybe you don't want to watch the video whatever but it's okay because i will still be bringing a part two i already mentioned that it's going to be still breaking down how saying no is so powerful now let me just rewind before we get to the closing off of this video Back to knowing yourself and knowing how to be with women, you have to understand that like, if she's gonna be the type of woman that is like, oh, like I could do whatever I want with him. I could be this type of guy that is like um, nice to her, kind, and if I just walk away right at the, the right time, I'm good. No, boundaries and expectations and requirements have to be already set. So she gets an idea of like, don't try me because there's different levels to it. It's not levels just in life as in status. It's also levels in the aspects of, oh, okay, like I'm nicer than your ex or I'm a good guy. I'm a great guy. Now, here's the thing that we'll talk about in a next video. If you still haven't given this video a big thumbs up, haven't commented for a part two because I got y'all if you want one. I I will drop it right away let me know questions concerns comment section all that good stuff now here's the thing that we will definitely discuss in the next video talk about is that you have to really make sure that if she's coming to you wanting you if she's like really really feeling you that is okay to give her respect don't kind of like mistake being respectful towards her as oh i'm being too nice right as long as she's reciprocating it properly as long as you're not getting again taken advantage of another thing that i'll discuss in another video is that you also have to remember being the nice guy and her saying that oh hey like you're 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 a great guy you're a nice guy all that stuff but you're not her type that might also be because you either left the wrong impression you either came off too needy you made her feel like oh like you know he's just gonna be like every other guy that wants me that sorts of stuff there's so much more i'm gonna extend on because there's also one last thing there's also the element of how are you consistently showing up in her life so that just plays a part onto how i was explaining that are you the type of guy that's just there are you the type of guy that like oh you're such a good guy you're such a great guy oh any woman would be lucky to have you but what does that also mean that also means but you're not good enough for me or i need somebody rough rough around the edges mean to me tough that sorts of stuff all right so i can't wait to bring this video back up like i said let me know for the part twos i got y'all other videos you want to see let me know check out all the links down below and of course if you still have not given this video a big thumbs up helps your girl so much and don't forget about the exclusive content and if you want to get on the line talk about what's going on with you you can go ahead and do so click the link down below bye y'all are self-improving in the process this is so serious this is why i have a whole no contact guide and journal available y'all could go ahead and purchase it if you need somewhere to start off then you need all the breakdowns all the insight the information and i have structure in there help you prompts things that will tell you you got this but it'll give you also reasons why and i have stories in there that tells you why no contact has worked for people all types of stuff it's so detailed y'all that's how much information i made sure to put in there step 
step up no contact or if you need somewhere to start and you need something to help you this is like me guiding you as you go through no contact that's how i customized it for y'all so you can check that out by clicking the link down below see what you could do with no contact how far you could do it just learn everything have the guidance and for accountability partner although i'm not actually there you'll feel that sense from this journal and guide